You know what you call them little white things running around out there? You call them some fine eating. <laughs> Alright, Swamp Rat. This video's for you since you're such a cast iron lover. Tell you a little story first. I got wind the other day that uh, <clears throat> Grandma called Daddy and said a guy was uh, interested in a cast iron pot that was down there in the barn. She, she told him, she said, well, she said, I'll take $45 for it. So I went down there and got it, brought it up here and put it in the basement the night before the guy showed up. I was over there shooting the uh, 22, getting that thing ready for the groundhogs, and uh, Daddy called me and said, uh, there's a white truck down there at the barn. I believe it's that guy looking for that pot. I walked in there and I said, what's happening? He said, well, we're looking for that cast iron pot that was down there, down here somewhere. I said, uh, oh, that. I said, it's up there in the basement. I said, it's not for sale. <laughs> He said, oh, well, he just lives right down the road, so it really didn't break his heart, but so much, because you know it did. She was going to sell him this thing for $45, and I kind of intercepted it. This is what we're talking about. It's, um, i got to find out, because your crowd, I'm going to turn the camera upside down, so bear with this. I'm going to show it to you when I get done with it. It says 15 Baltimore on it. It's 15 gallon over here on the other side where the other handle is. You see that? 15 gallon. That's a 15 gallon cauldron, I guess they call them. This is the first time I've messed with anything cast iron and uh Call me simple if you will, but I find it fascinating that you can rub fat, uh, cheap fat, on uh, cast iron like that and burn it off and it makes this beautiful uh, glossy finish. I'm going to start rubbing it on the bottom half now. I'm going to flip it over and do the inside. It was kind of rusty. I Got it good and hot till it turned black and then uh, took the uh, wire brush and got all the rust off the outside. And the inside, I'm sure it'll just fall off now. But this thing, uh, I don't know, back in the 1960s, give or take a little bit, Daddy and Granddaddy and them, they used to kill hogs. And Daddy had a smaller pot, so he said. And it wasn't big enough, so they got this one somewhere. And uh, they started using this one for, um, you know, rendering the lard down, drying the lard, as they called it. Anyway, I'm fixing it up. We butcher so many sheep. I rendered down. Uh, I rendered down about 50 pounds of sheep tallow, mutton tallow as they call it, uh, right here the other day in that thing. And you see where the sun has bleached that, where I spilt it on it, so the block is just as white as snow. That's the same way you bleach beeswax white, just like that. I learned that that way too, as a matter of fact. I left a screen out here that I was filtering beeswax in, and uh, the screen turned just as white. So then up there on the deck last July, I set some out and let the sun melt it. And after a few days, it looks just like milk. So if I wanted to bleach the brown out of that, all I'd have to do is just sit it out in the sun for a little while. Anyway, back to the cast iron. I'm going to show you. I'm going to take another clip of this thing when I get it all, all pretty. All right, back to the cast iron pot. I did have to go shoot me a Canadian goose down there at the pond a minute ago, so we're gonna try her out in a little bit. Yep, 
put a little oak on that fire. Here's uh, here's that 15 gallon thing now that I'm done seasoning it. And let's see if I can catch the way the sun's glaring off of it. Doesn't that say 15 Baltimore? And then on the other side it will say dark in you. Yeah. 15 gallon. Ain't that right? Got a pretty finish on it. I just kept it over top of the fire and rubbed it down with uh, with uh, uh, sheep tallow. Got a nice slick finish in there. Things in pretty good shape cleaned up nice so that thing's gonna render some sheep fat one of these days stick it back in the basement right now it's about all you want to do to pick that thing up and tote it around um, I don't know it might weigh a little over 50 pounds suckers heavy pretty neat deal